Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today on the menu is chicken tikka masala with a Caribbean twist. This is one of my favorite Indian dishes. I begin by cutting up four pieces of chicken breast into about half of an inch in thickness. You can use whichever part of the chicken you like. Next, I am washing the chicken with some lemon juice and I wash it several times for it to be clean. Then I drain out the water. Please make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water after you're finished washing the meat. It's time to season the chicken, so I am adding salt, turmeric powder, coriander powder, red chili powder, garam masala powder, cumin powder, plain yogurt, olive oil, lemon juice, and the ingredient that gives this this Caribbean twist is Caribbean green seasoning. I'm going to mix everything well together, then put it in my fridge to marinate for an hour. If you have time on your hands, you can let it marinate for a longer time. All right, it's time to cook the chicken. So to my pan, I'm adding my vegetable oil. And when the oil is hot, I'm going to place my chicken pieces in there, let them cook for about two minutes, then flip it over and let them cook again for another two minutes on the other side. Once they are finished cooking, remove them from the oil and set them aside. It's time to make the sauce or the gravy for the chicken. So to another pot, I'm adding some vegetable oil. And once the oil was hot, I added in some red onions. You can use whichever onions you have at home. And I let them cook until they were a little bit brown like this. And at this point, I am going to add in some green seasoning and let that cook for about 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to add in my tomato puree. To make tomato puree, simply wash some tomatoes, cut it up into smaller pieces, then place them in your blender and blend it up with no additional liquid. Or you can use canned tomato sauce. Cook the tomato puree until the water dries out and it looks like this. So we are going to use the same spices we used to season the meat with to add to the sauce. So salt, red chili pepper, coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, and garam masala powder. I'm going to let this cook for about a minute or two. You want those spices to marry together. After that, I'm adding my cooked chicken. Give it a good mix. And let it cook for about 5 minutes on medium to low heat. After about 5 minutes of cooking everything, I poured in some hot water in there. And at this point, you can taste the food to see if it has enough seasoning to your liking. I did went ahead and add some more salt, garam masala powder and red chili powder to my dish. It is the red chili powder that gives this amazing chicken tikka masala recipe that beautiful color it is known to have. Next, I added in one box of thick cream. You can also use cooking cream or all-purpose cream. And all the measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below this video, so be sure to check it out. Now let this cook until it reduces to however thick or thin you want that gravy to be and that is it. It is ready to eat. Well guys, this is my take on a delicious chicken tikka masala with a Caribbean twist. Please give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out for you by leaving a comment for me below this video. Have a blessed day and I'll see you later. Bye!